The Banu al-Majrit were a circle of brilliant scholars working in Islamic Spain during the 10th and early 11th centuries, at a time when much of Europe was still centuries away from organized scientific institutions. Their name comes from Madrid, the city we now call Madrid, a fact that alone challenges what most people think they know about medieval science. At the center of this group was Maslama al-Majrit, widely regarded as the greatest astronomer and mathematician of Al-Andalus. He did not simply preserve ancient knowledge. He corrected it, expanded it, and made it usable. Maslama refined astronomical tables that were essential for calculating planetary motion, eclipses, and calendars. These tables were not theoretical. They were practical tools used by scholars across the Islamic world. He also advanced algebra and mathematical methods that later crossed into Christian Europe through Spain. This is where the story becomes uncomfortable for traditional history. When European scholars began building universities and scientific curricula, much of the mathematics and astronomy they relied on had already been developed in Al-Andalus. The formulas remained. The methods remained. The names were quietly removed. The Banu al Madrid school also worked on chemistry and early experimental science. They emphasized measurement, verification, and mathematical consistency, ideas that would later define the scientific method. Centuries later, Renaissance scholars used this knowledge as if it had appeared from nowhere. It did not. It arrived through translation, transmission, and refinement by minds like the Banu al Madrid. Modern astronomy, algebra, and scientific calculation are not the product of a single civilization. They are the result of a long chain of human genius. The Banu al-Majrat were one of the most important links in that chain. They were not forgotten because they were minor. They were forgotten because they stood at the crossroads of knowledge, and history often erases the bridge once it has been crossed.